uh, the host of Life, Liberty, and Levin. Normally, he's been on for about two hours ago, but we have special coverage tonight. Mark, what's it like now? What's it like there? It's very quiet, Brian. The people here are not panicking. They're very, very strong. I think the people here have had enough of being picked off, attacked, raped, butchered. But you say game changer, and you had two guests who said game changers. Anybody told that to Joe Biden? They're already leaking to NBC News. Within 90 minutes of the last drone that was taken out, about how they're worried about the Israelis will be a little too uh, quick to act. They may be too aggressive. They're upset about what they did uh, in Damascus, already trashing the Israelis. We're trying to figure out how to respond, and they're not only trying to figure out how to respond militarily, but trying to figure out how to respond within the definitions and the boundaries that this lousy, awful Biden administration is imposing on them. So I'm, I, I know Michael Oren, great guy, senior, great guy. Israel needs to do this. Israel needs to do that. But Israel is under attack by the administration. Of course we, the American people, help Israel with these drones. This is who we are. This is the position of the United States government. It's not Biden's position. This has been the position of the United States government for 76 years, when Harry Truman first recognized the state of Israel. He's not doing anything special. What he's doing that is awful and horrendous is, on the one hand, look, we've got red-blooded, great American hero station there. But on the other hand, he's attacking the ally right in the middle of a major war. And they're leaking to NBC. That is Blinken. That is these guys at the State Department. They do not want Israel to ultimately defeat Iran. Now, Iran needs to be defeated. Hamas needs to be defeated. We're not going to do it. Israel's prepared to do it. And this can't go on this way. You know, it's not like there were always nice guys in the Middle East. No, quite the contrary. It's a whole horrendous scene in the Middle East. But we know how to keep it calm. It just happened in the prior administration under Donald Trump. These Palestin the Palestinians don't get to call the shots. Iran doesn't get to call the shots. They don't get to shoot missiles and missiles and missiles. People come here. Do people realize this is a civilized nation that every three or four days people are running to the basement? We wouldn't put up with that. 150,000 missiles, people keep saying, that the, that the Hezbollah has. You've got people coming on. They say, and not only that, they can target. They can target uh, uh, Tel Aviv. They can target Jerusalem. These are cities with millions of people. These are, these are population centers. Right. Would we sit here if we had a country with 150,000 missiles targeting our cities? And as I said a few hours ago, Brian, how come they never talk about the fact that Israel has nukes? Not that they'll use them. How come, how come the media and the experts act like it's not a big deal? What do you think, Brian, might right. happen if 100,000 targeted missiles hit Tel Aviv and Jerusalem? There's a counter threat out there, too. As for me, I am fine. I am pissed off. These people need to be defeated. Uh, they can be defeated. They're not a 10-foot tall. These aren't 10-foot tall soldiers. Right. And anyway, go ahead. So, so Mark, we, we know this. Yemen, Syria, Lebanon, all basically controlled by Iran. Gaza, controlled by Iraq. Iran. Right? Uh, Iraq, too, uh, controlled by Iran. We've got 2,500 troops there uh, uh, on an island. So... This might be what the moment the where Iran, where, this might be the moment that Israel says we're on a war footing. This is problems only going to get worse. Iran's only going to get more powerful. These are the Lebanon's only going to get more rockets uh, if right. we don't finish up. So this might be the moment where Israel does what they did to Reagan. They bombed out that nuclear plant in Iraq. Uh, they but they told George Bush, uh, I'm going to bomb out that nuclear program in Syria. I mean, is this the time when Netanyahu says, this is for our survival? I'll do it regardless of what America says? No, isn't that amazing? So Netanyahu has to sit here and decide who's been smeared for years now by the U.S. press and the Israeli press. He's got to sit here and decide, do I protect my people and defend my country once and for all, or do I listen to the Biden administration? Now think about that. Do I protect my people and my country, 
or do I have to buckle to the Biden administration? And, and I want the people to understand, Brian, and you it's understand. Insane. He has to make a decision. He has to be concerned that Biden will slow walk weapons. That's what he's done. That Biden will, will send Schumer on the Senate floor to say that this man needs to be deposed, all the rest of it. It, 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 it's so diabolical and it's so outrageous and it goes other than you and me and a handful of other goes unsaid iran wouldn't have been able to do any of this but for the back uh, fact biden funded them biden armed them biden has gotten more money to iran than he has to ukraine uh by the the iranians were in no position to do any of these things so yes it's a game changer so my question to all the experts is well what are you banging on netanyahu for why don't you talk to Biden and Blinken about this? Not only did they create this situation, right. not only did they rearm the enemy, but they keep undermining even tonight it's crazy. as I'm speaking to you with NBC News. Now, you and I agree on Ukraine. I don't know where these, uh, what these isolationists are up to, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say it right now. Russia cuts through Ukraine. Poland better watch out. These guys are serious. People think right. that, you know, people say, what are we going to do, get into World War II? They better open their damn eyes right now because it's setting up like World War II and not because we're so tough. It's because we are not standing up to these forces. Absolutely. you got to go for total victory. Uh, Russia's going to cut right through it. Look out for the Baltics. They all know it. Uh, and it seems you're just uh, sitting by, and some Republicans too. I 100% agree. Mark, thanks so much. Appreciate it. it. Mark hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.